Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, Thursday, the 13th day of January. Sunny but cold today, a warming trend just around the corner after one more very cold night tonight. Let's check the Skycam shots. How about a look at Hamilton? Yeah, that snow's going nowhere. Look at the, that's a football field down there at Hamilton High School. Totally snow covered. Been that way since uh, Sunday. Uh, despite uh, sunshine for the past couple of days, uh, readings today are, are still pretty cold. Many spots uh, staying below freezing. Some spots up in the mid-30s. Whatever. It's it's very cold and not much snow melt today. There's the Gadsden Sky Cam looking down at the snow cover there on top of Lookout Mountain, not too far from Nakalula Falls. And Mount Chihaw, look at that mountain, just totally covered in ice, including that uh, Channel 7 television tower up there. That's the uh, educational TV tower on top of the mountain owned by the state. And, you know, that thing actually came down, uh, let's see, I believe today's the anniversary on this date in 1982 following a crippling ice storm. And that tower up there was rebuilt after that one collapsed in 82. So the uh, weather on that mountain can provide uh, some very, very harsh conditions, as you can clearly see. Here's a surface high near uh, Greenville, Mississippi, over the Delta this afternoon. And we think by daybreak tomorrow, that thing will be right on top of us. And therefore, we think tonight will be the perfect night for radiational cooling, clear sky, light wind, big snowpack. And uh, we think some of the colder pockets will see single digits. We actually had one or two this morning. Uh, Hamilton had seven at the uh, co-op station up there this morning, and I think we'll see that for Valley Head and Broomtown and places like that, seven, eight, nine degrees. Uh, temperatures this afternoon are uh, mostly in the mid-30s. Birmingham, 35. We're up above freezing by three. Tuscaloosa, 38. But where that big snow cover is down, still sub-freezing. Haleyville, Coleman, Gadsden. But tomorrow we're talking 40s. We can celebrate that. Around the nation, it's cold, but not as cold as recent days. Things begin to moderate, and our moderating trend will continue into the weekend. We're talking 50s by Saturday and Sunday. And look at that. There's the watch warning map. Nice and quiet. You know, just a week ago, we're getting set for that big winter storm, and that thing was starting to illuminate like a Christmas tree. Well, not this time. Good to see the uh, just the calm conditions. We could use that. In the QPF chart, this is the overall rain for the next five days. Found it through Tuesday morning of next week, Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of a quarter to one-half inch. And it could be the better rains coming in just after this period during the day Tuesday, but certainly uh, we'll mention a chance of rain both Monday and Tuesday of next week before the next shot of cold air gets in here. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars, northwest flow aloft, dry air. And a sunny day. And again, we start the day down there in the, the low and mid-teens. Uh, single digits for the colder spots. The, the GFS is showing 10 for Birmingham. But the NAM is at 17. I think the GFS is closer. We'll probably say 12 or 13. And then highs should be up in the uh, low 40s. The GFS is at 42, and that sounds pretty good. Saturday, how about low 50s with a good supply of sunshine? Sunday, we stay dry. Clouds probably will increase a bit, but... Uh, Again, weather not too bad. There's Monday of next week. Trofax is off to the west. And that's when showers will likely break out. Uh, this is suggesting rain may be moving into uh, West Alabama Monday morning. And then by Tuesday, a cold front pushes on through. Cold front uh, approaching Muscle Shoals there at midday. So certainly Monday, Monday night to Tuesday, pretty good chance of showers. And by golly, there could be a thunderstorm with that look, a What's that, a, a sub-1,000 millibar low near uh, Detroit and a 1,032 millibar high that's nosing in from Canada. That's that last cold air shot we've talked about in the sequence. There's Wednesday, and again, the model's in pretty good agreement the cold air is going to get down in here. But notice how th there's no big western ridge that really you know jumps all up there to the Yukon. We've got the eastern trough, but we don't have the western ridge, and accordingly, we think that that air will not be as cold as it could be. Will it be much colder Wednesday? Uh Yes, but uh, that would suggest a high maybe around 40 or low 40s. And uh, certainly compared to this week, it's not that bad. And then Thursday, things start to moderate already. All right, we'll check the end of the forecast, the 29th. And we've seen a lot of different solutions out here. The, a split flow seems evident with a southern branch 
in the northern branch. This one has the northern branch with a pretty good trough over the east and some colder air. But again, we note that that North Atlantic oscillation going positive really doesn't support that solution you see in the operational runs. So again, uh, just evidence is increasing that maybe for the last week of January, maybe into early February, we'll see temperatures warmer than average for a change. We'll buy that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.